Hey guys, to watch this video here for Thursday, August 19th, showing you the SPY daily kind of rolling over. First close below the 20 day in a while. Show you five minute candles here so you can kind of see the intraday really sold off at the end of the day. Um, today was the FOMC minutes release. So I don't know what they said in there, but um, might not have been great. I don't know. Anyway, the market's certainly overdue for a correction. Um, we might be back to all-time highs tomorrow. You have no idea, right? And that's why I'm a day trader. I'm in cash every night and just take intraday day trades. The one um, kind of clean, easy trade that I called today. Again, I'm not trading very much because it's August and there's not much volume. Um, I saw this spike, right? A a um, ALF was already on watch. Had the big rip yesterday showing you five-minute candles here. Put in an early high at 1037, then put in a lower high right below 10, and then start chopping around. I said anytime today over 10, whoops, sorry, over the whole number 10, my thinking is we get back through the high of day, maybe squeeze a bit, right? And so there was the 10 break, and it went pretty quickly um, to over 1050, gave a nice five buy zone pullback if anyone was astute enough to grab that, and then they, then ripped through 11, um, and actually in after hours went through 12, which, you know, when you have a strong close like that, that's not uncommon. Um, that's kind of one highlight. There were other calls today. I had a decent day after a kind of a lousy start. Ended up um, having some nice trades in the afternoon. But this is probably one of the smallest lists I've had in a while. So let's just get to it here. PMCB. Got to have this on watch. Um, had this big rip today. Look at the look at the volume. Two hundred and twenty eight million shares, um, and closed pretty much at the highs. As I'm talking though, it's trading at eight seventy seven. So anything goes tomorrow. But I'm going to put it on watch. GRVI, kind of a nice little mini breakout over this last two weeks, three weeks worth of trading. I'm looking for a continuation day there tomorrow. I'm going to put ALF, ALF, I just talked about that, back on watch for tomorrow. VRPX, um, again, I, I somebody questioned me this morning when why they said, why isn't VRPX on your gap playlist? And my, my short answer is because it closed around 15 and it was set to open around 30. Um, a double overnight right on a gap on the open just felt too extended to me um i didn't i just i thought it would be too dangerous and then it ended up going red to green right there after the opening five minutes some of you may have grabbed it and had a nice little trade um i tend to kind of want to stay away from the extended crowded stuff so um i like stocks to be in play but then there's like in play on steroids and then i try to leave them alone so anyway but I have no idea what to do with this thing tomorrow. It started at four bucks, it went to 36, and now it's sitting at 22. Who's winning? I don't know. Everyone from today is underwater. Every, yeah, everyone from yesterday, excuse me, is over overwater. Is that a proper um, statement? Um, so I don't know. But it's such a recent crazy mover that it would just be wrong not to have it on watch. Who knows if we'll get a setup? ESGC um, mentioned this one today in chat, getting big volume. They actually had news that had Amazon in the headline, which got it going. Um, the sad thing is right now it, it, it hit a buck in after hours. I should have been thinking to watch this in after hours, topped out at 74. And um, once it broke 74, it went pretty quickly to a buck. That would have been a really neat little after hours trade. I don't know why I didn't have it on a chart, but anyway, um, we're gonna watch it tomorrow. VIR, pretty nice little mini breakout today, nice volume. We'll look for a continuation day tomorrow. And then FLGC goes back on bounce watch. Nice little bottoming tail today. We'll see. And then VZIO, three days do nah, three days in a row down. I cannot talk. Um, what to be honest, what I'd like to see is another down day and have it take out to all time lows, which was 1725. And I would be looking for a reversal if that happens on an intraday basis. Um, you know, it's a recent IPO went public on March 25th. And again, the all-time low, 1725. I'd love to see another red day take that out, or at least down near there, and I'll be looking for an intraday reversal. And that is, believe it or not, the extent of my list. I couldn't find much of anything. Um, and maybe because the spy is starting to look ugly, maybe we'll see some action, right? But um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to quit babbling, and I'll see you all in the chat room in the morning. Um, have a great night.